to Hoi Wa, what's up guys, it's Hoi Wa from Dynasty and in this video I have exclusive vlog footage of my training in Hong Kong specifically I went and sought out uh, Sifu Mark Houghton which is the disciple of Lao Ga Leung Lao Ga Leung is a Hong Kong martial artist and filmmaker and the late uh, Lao Ga Leung is a Hong Kong master. So I went uh, back to Hong Kong and was able to train uh, at least for a few private sessions under uh, Mark Houghton, aka the White Tiger, in Lao Ga Hong Ga Kun, right? Lao family Hong Ga Kun, Hong Ga uh, fist. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the training footage first, at least the footage that I was able to videotape. And then I will talk it through about my actual learnings and findings and my experience uh, of the whole training. So, take a look. Alright, so, tiger coming down the mountain. Right, make the tiger claw. Yeah, I move to the side. Single tiger catching the lamb. Right, horse stance. Sun punch. Now step back, pow choy. Now step forward, tiger, cup choy. Now step forward, up, up, horse dance, sun choy. Now step, butterfly. Tiger coming down the mountain. Hey, yeah, that's right, yeah. Right now, step sideways, single tie catching the lamb, horse dance. Step back, pow choy. Now step forward, cup choy. Now step forward, song, sketchy choy. Yeah, now step this way, butterfly palm. Strong. That's it. The tiger coming down the mountain. Yeah, don't do the finger to heaven. Make sure it's tiger claw. Tiger coming down the mountain. Single tiger catching the lamb. Yachi choy. Pao choy. Cup choy. Song. Yachi choy. Step forward. Boot it. Strong. Okay. Good. Woo. It was a very, very tough training session. Very, very tough. The kind of body conditioning that you need to have in order to use those moves, in order to strike with the power, strike with the force, strike with the kind of you know practical application of how you would use those moves is very challenging to train. It's very, very tough to train. You have to have power in your lower body and your upper body basically full body. It was a full body workout where you needed to be strong everywhere. It was, it was you know, excruciating. It was very, very tiring. But, uh, you know, he was very, very knowledgeable, of course. And he's a real fighter. He, he's trying to show me the essence of the style. He's trying to show me all the elements of the style that I can make use of in my own fighting, in my own, you know, martial arts, so that I could take those elements of the Hong Kong, which is the iron bridge, and the, the hard body conditioning and apply it into actual martial arts fighting. And I, I'm definitely going back, even though, you know, the training is very, very tough, but I'm definitely gonna go back and I'm gonna do more. I hope to visit him a couple more times before this trip is over. Drop your hand,
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that little bit of that training process. Sibu Marfotin imparted lots and lots of knowledge over to me in a very, very short period of time. And I really appreciate how direct he was, how forthcoming he was. He didn't uh, really beat around the bush with anything. He's a real fighter, like I said in, in the previous clip. He was able to just cut right to the chase. And he knew that I came from other martial arts backgrounds already. So he wasn't uh, going to hide anything uh, from me or, or, or basically treat me like uh, I was a beginner that needed to be uh, slowly fed the information. It wasn't anything like that. He, he, he got right into it. Uh, showed me his the white tiger form is which is the form that you know he created himself because he told me that if I were to learn the other two fist forms uh, right off the bat not not only would they take too long to learn because there's so many moves uh, but with the with the amount of time that was that I was there that I was gonna see him for which was only about a couple weeks I wouldn't be able to learn the whole thing and I would be uh, you know, it would be incomplete basically. I would just come back to, to Canada and I wouldn't be able to train it myself. So he basically condensed uh, everything that he found uh, that was the most essential. I don't want to say the most useful, but I want to say the most essential uh, part of the Hongakun. He condensed that down into uh, the white tiger form, which he said he uses to teach other people to onboard them, I guess, uh, especially beginners. Uh, the, the, the fundamentals of that style. So the most important thing that I got out of the whole training uh, sessions, especially from what uh, you know, Sibu Mark Hoden told me, especially because I, I'm a fighter and I, I intend to use the martial arts for fighting, not just for performance, not just for show. And that was something that he, he emphasized, uh, that he's teaching this for fighting, he's not teaching this for show, right? Uh, he said that you know, I mean, I could go on YouTube and, and look at other uh, form videos and copy the movements and things like that. But he says, without true understanding of what you're doing with the form, it's actually useless. You, you, can, you can mimic the moves all you want. You can do it for performance. You can do it for movies all you want. But if you don't know how to actually apply it, it's useless. You have to find a real teacher to do that. And of course, he told me all of the applications of the moves that I cannot get into in this video because it would be too long. Uh, I'll leave that for another video. But what he did tell me, uh, and, and the most important thing that I uh, got out of these training sessions was that in order to use these moves, you have to condition your body. You have to have the nankyu, okay? The hard bridge or iron bridge, okay? Um, you have to condition the rest of your body. We, we did hongkun low stances, right? We did the hongkun stances, uh, you know, ma bo, gong bo, uh, kailan bo, uh, all those different types of stances to condition the body. We did wrist strengthening exercises. Uh, we did uh, the Hongga dynamic tension breathing exercises, right? All of those things, of course, we did the Da Sam Sing, Da Yi Sing on the tree the, the, to condition the forearms. And of course, you saw some of the footage, me doing the form on the Choi Fat Wind Dummy, okay? So all of those things are to condition the body because without body conditioning, okay, without wrist conditioning, none of this can work, right? When you hit somebody, you're, you end up just breaking your own body, right? You, you end up not being able to hurt the other guy. So that was the most important thing that I got out of this short uh, training uh, session, or rather this short training period. And ever since then, you know, I kind of embodied that and I'm like, I gotta toughen up my body. I gotta toughen up my body, right? And because, especially nowadays, you watch in the UFC, guys are breaking their shins when they're throwing leg kicks, right? And that just reminded me even more, okay, I gotta condition my body, not just hands, not just wrists, not just shins, not just ankles, but everything, okay? And I'll leave it with that. But you know, if you wanna find out more, right? If you wanna watch uh, the new videos, and next, the next video that I'm gonna do, which is about the Hongkun application for fighting, Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel, okay? Thank you so much, see you guys.